right, bringing it back, risking it for the biscuit. What's up, guys? Guy who camps here, and welcome to You Pick 'em Week Five. And this week's class is actually a pretty special class. Uh, something major happened in COD 4 because of this. Uh, I call it the Grizz Revolution, and uh, you know, this is kind of weird how one person literally probably influenced this game majorly in like how people played it. Uh, all thanks to the M40 glitch, and the M40 glitch, if you don't know, if you put an ACOG on it, it has uh, 5 extra damage on it, and I think that raises it from like 70 to 75, and because of that, somehow, it's pretty much always a one-shot, unless they have Last Stand, Juggernaut, or it's like through a wall or something, and because of this, people just went on this quickscoping frenzy, uh, more like, I don't know if it was like ACOG is quickscoping, I guess it is. Um, but anyway, you know, Grizz made this montage, and I actually saw it the day it came out, which was like back in September of 2008. Whoa, 2008, the year of Michael Phelps, and then he got caught smoking weed, and then like everyone hated him. And you know what? One thing I find interesting is, you know, we sell alcohol and cigarettes and stuff, and those are actually known to kill you, but I don't think weed kills you, and people flip out when, um, you know, people do it. But uh, it's just one of those things that uh, America, the government, the world, it's very weird. And uh, for those of you wondering whether I smoke the doobie or not, uh, doobie, I like that word. I like that word in pediatrician a lot. They like kind of just roll off the tongue. Uh, but anyway, no, I don't smoke. I was just making an observation there. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, back on the whole COD 4 Matrix thingy, you know, one person literally made like, you have no idea, guys, I played so much search in my day. Uh, especially in COD 4 and how many people I saw did the whole ACOG setup and like when Call of Duty 4 came out there was the whole phase where unless you were a COD 2 veteran you got your M40A3 you put on the reg scope and when you got iron lungs you freaked out because I know I did you know when I was playing Call of Duty 4 at first I was a super noob I you know I had my claymore stopping power iron lungs and I literally just sat in the back of the map and hard scope like there was no tomorrow I mean that's how I first played when it came out and then uh, the whole ACOG revolution happened, and everyone was just quick scoping left and right, going for the montage clips. Uh, but then again, that was the days of top notch multimedia and such. And then after that, you know, now today it's more like just bouncing in 316 and, you know, hitting, getting a single kill. In my opinion, I still like sniper montages where someone just goes on a massive tear. You know, that's what I like to see. But then again, that's just me and my opinion, and if I were to assume that that was your guys' opinion too, I'd be making an ass out of you and me. Uh, anyway, back on the gameplay, I haven't even talked about that yet. This is some Countdown Domination Ground War 9v9, and this whole game has actually been flawless. I have not died yet. Um, I've been skipping around the game a lot because there were some slow parts, and this whole entire game, I even played the whole sniper attitude where I go up to a flag, I could have capped it, then I'm just like, fuck that, fuck the flags. Let's get a goddamn quad feed here. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I was thinking about that too. You know, Treyarch nerfed sniping so terribly and badly as they did is just because they were afraid that snipers and domination would just go for 360s instead of cat flags. And even in Modern Warfare 2, where sniping is like the fucking greatest thing ever, you still don't see that. You know, unless you're in some kind of phase uh, optic open lobby, you know, converge and join operation thing. But, you know, I don't see that a lot. And right here, I got this AK secondary I picked up early on, and this thing just does work. I was playing, you know, with the AK and Black Ops, and that thing is just like a pea shooter compared to the real deal here in COD 4. And I, I really hope the AK in Modern Warfare 3 just kicks ass and takes name, you know. Um, oh, nice little ACOG kill right there. 25 kill streak, bringing on the tactical nuke. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get a 25 in anything, you know, even if it's not Call of Duty, like, if I get 25 out of 100 on a math test, I think, oh, tactical nuke, I win, doesn't matter. You know, 25 will always be that number that makes me think of Modern Warfare 2, the nuke, and all the shenanigans that went down in it. Uh, anyway, back to 08, 2008, you know, probably one of the most awesome years ever, that in 2007, I like those years a lot. Uh, another person that I was randomly thinking of on YouTube, Team Killer, I think it was 703, he just made these videos of him team killing, and it was hilarious, I'll put a link to his channel, I just remember like watching him back in the day and like just cracking up over his stuff, uh, yeah, good times, you know, I think things were, like, I don't want to say things are worse now, but things were a lot better in like a different way, but things were just easier when it was simpler, you know. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm that guy who camps, and if you want to leave a you pick him comment for next week, just uh, simply leave a comment, copy and paste the description, and like and favorite the video if you enjoyed it, because that's really the only way to help YouTube channels get bigger these days. And the gameplay cut out right there, but I had a 31 kill streak and we won the game. 
Anyway, guys, I'm that guy who camps, and uh, stay classy. Just saw that on TV. Thought it was funny.